Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you did enjoy those photos and video clips as well. As the title suggests, I did shoot on Velvet 50 slide film, which was around one year expired as well. I also decided to put this through my Ashika T3 point and shoot, which probably wasn't the best choice of camera to use such a high quality film on, but I thought I would experiment a little just to see how it would turn out. I'm actually pretty surprised with the results I got, and although a lot of them were underexposed and the colors were a bit weird on some of them, after looking back and applying a little bit of an edit here and there, I am pretty pleased with how some of them turned out. I never shot Velvia or any kind of slide film before, so I didn't really know what to expect, but that was probably a good thing if I'm honest. I really like the strong blue tones and the cast that a lot of these images had, which is not too common in most of my other photos, as I'm mainly using portrait and overexposing a fair bit as well. So just a little bit of context about these photos, I was down the coast for around half a day and thought I would take some 35mm photos, which is something I don't really do that much these days. As you may have seen, I also have my Mamiya 7 with me, but I decided not to include those photos in this video, it wasn't really relevant, but next week I have a video planned regarding that camera, so stay tuned for that one. So this roll of Velvia has been sitting in my camera since the start of this year and had a couple frames from a trip I did to Bali also at the start of this year, which I kind of forgot I had. There's also around 15 frames from a recent trip I did into the forest. I made a video on that trip. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the description as well. The weird thing with these photos is they look pretty underexposed and I actually use flash on most of these images, but for some reason the flash made the images darker than what they would have been without it. I don't really know why this happened, whether it's slide film or an expired film issue, but I did find a way to make it work by converting to black and white and playing around the contrast levels as well. The photos have a spooky and somewhat eerie feel to them, which was reflective of the scene at the time. It's definitely the outcome I was expecting, but I am kind of happy with how it turned out and definitely will take the results. It's definitely the last time I'm going to be shooting slide film or expired film for that matter. I actually just purchased a roll of E100, so expect a video on that over the next couple months or so. If you're thinking about shooting slide film, just keep in mind it can be quite expensive. It's around $20 to buy the film and then another $30 to get it developed and processed. So if you add all that up, it will be a pretty expensive shoot. Some labs also don't process slide film or E6 as it's called. So make sure you do your research before you start shooting. In my case, I went to Ikigai Camera in Melbourne, which I believe is one of the best labs around. I'll leave their website in the description if you want to check them out. So I hope you did enjoy the photos and video as well. Please consider subscribing. As I said, I have plenty of these videos planned for the future, so stay tuned for those. I also hope you got a better understanding of what slide film might look like in a point and shoot camera, and maybe you want to try it out for yourself. Anyways, I'll leave this video here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.